So when we take a look at working papers 1-3, we have our work together and we have our on our own. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the work together. On the very top of this question, work together, we have five sample transactions. You can see one, two, three, four, five. And right here it tells me in the directions for each transaction to determine the two accounts of the accounting equation that are changed and decide whether or not each account is increased or decreased. You're going to put a plus side if it's increased, a minus if it's decreased. If they're both being affected, we can put both a plus and a minus. So I'm going to scroll down just a little bit so we can see our, our transactions. So number one, received cash from sales. Received cash from sales. Isaiah, what is one account that you think is being affected with that one? What's that? If we receive cash from sales. Well, how about one of these words right here? Boom, 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 boom. What's our second word in the transaction, Isaiah? Cash. Yes. So what's one of our accounts? Cash. So Isaiah, do we have more cash or less cash? Yes. So we're going to put a plus under cash. Devin, what did we get cash for? Sales. So sales is always going to affect owner's equity, Devin. Is it going to cause owner's equity to go up or down? Yes. So I'm going to go under Nathan Conrad Capital, and I'm going to put in a plus. Okay. So transaction number two, Tanner. Sold services on account to Harmon Company. Two accounts are always being affected, Tanner. Can you tell me the name of one of the accounts that will be affected? Super. So does Harmon Company owe us more money or less money because of this transaction? Yes. So we're going to put a plus under accounts receivable, Harmon Company. Trista, we dealt with Harmon Company, so now we have to deal with where it says sold services. What account is be affected if we have sold services? So on this very first one, we had the word sales, right? What account was affected when we affected sales on the first one? Owner's equity. So se sold services, sold and sales are going to be similar. Okay. Instead of saying sales, though, we're just saying that Harmon Company is going to pay us at a later date. So do we have more sales or less sales, Trista? More. So our owner's equity is going to go up. Anytime that we have sales, we know it's always going to be a plus to our owner's equity. Number three, paid cash for cell phone bill. Mackenzie, what's one account that would be affected? Cash. Do we have more or less, Mackenzie? Thank you. Now, we dealt with the paid cash part. Now we've got to deal with the phone bill. Ethan, what is a phone bill? Things that we have to pay for, but we can't charge our customers. Term we just wrote. Who wrote it? Somebody wrote it. I think Holly wrote it. Do you remember? It starts with an E. Trying to phone a friend. No one's helping you, though, Ethan. Holly, what word did you write? Oh, that was not the right word. Who wrote it, then? Jacob, which word did you write? Yes, ah, I was close. I was off a row. So, Ethan, Jacob's your new friend. So what word did he say? Expense. So expenses are things that we have to pay that we can't charge the customer. So, Ethan, do expenses make owner's equity go up or down? Down. So we're going to go ahead and subtract our um, from owner's equity. Now the fourth, receive cash on account from Harmon Company. Caitlin, what's one account that's being affected? Cash, up or down? Now, 
On an account from Harmon Company. Sabrina, what account is being affected? Give you a hint, the last two words of the transaction. So it's going to be accounts receivable Harmon Company, agreed? So, Sabrina, does Harmon Company owe us more money or less money because of this transaction? So we're going to go ahead and put a minus under accounts receivable Harmon Company. Transaction five, owner withdrew equity in the form of cash. We on? What, more or less? Yes, so we're going to minus that. Now the hard part of the transaction. Riley, what's the other way that we're affecting the equation? The first word is your hint. Owner's equity, yes. And the owner's equity is being affected because it actually says the word owner in there. So you should be like, all right, I've got to affect owner's equity. Now, the owner withdrew. So, Riley, do we have more or less? Less. And we're going to go ahead and call that withdrawals. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Save and Continue, and that should be Work Together um, 1-3. And then I would like you to try the on your own. So I'm going to go over um, application 1.3. So you can see on the top we have eight transactions. Here is our directions and here's where we're going to record it. So I'm going to go through and take a look at our set of directions here. It says Shannon O'Brien operates a service business called Edgecliff Photography. He uses the accounts shown in the following um, accounting transaction. Transaction number one is given to you in this example. Complete the following. Analyze the transaction to determine which accounts in the accounting equation are being affected. In the appropriate columns, enter a plus if it's increased or a minus if it's decreased. Transactions that affect owner's equity, you have to put in parentheses revenue, expense, investment, or withdrawal of the transaction amount, and then you have to calculate the new balance for each account in the accounting equation. Before going on to the next transaction, determine that the accounting equation is in balance. So, number one was done for us. And number one reads, paid cash for rent. So when I look right here, it says paid cash. So cash is going down 400, and it's going for rent. Rent is one of these four terms that they said right here, revenue, expense, investment, or withdrawal. And it's going to be an expense, so it does a minus there. So now we went through, and right here it says new balance. So they went down and did the, did the math. So 720 minus 400 gives you 325. Zero affected by zero is zero, 200, new balance. So let's do number two together because it makes more sense when you see how you fill in the box. Number two, owner withdrew equity in the form of cash, $150. So the first thing that I see is the word cash because that is easy to identify, okay? So if I see cash, Lillian, is withdrew, do I have more cash or less cash? So I'm going to go right here to cash, and I'm going to put a minus in that little box, and then I'm putting the amount next to it, which is 150. Now, here's the thing. I am subtracting cash, and it says owner withdrew equity in the form of cash. So what word did you hear in there? Owner. So that goes ding, 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 ding. I have to go over here to owner's equity. And the name of our owner is Shannon O'Brien Capital. So the owner withdrew equity. Is it going up or down? Down. So I need to put a minus in there. The amount is 150. And then I have to, any time I'm affecting owner's equity, put in parentheses one of those four words, revenue, Expense, withdrawal, investment. I knew I was forgetting one. Which one is it? Withdrawal. Got to spell it right? Put in parentheses? 
It's withdrawal. It's W I T H D R A W A L, withdrawal. Now, I have to do math. That's where it says new balance. So I'm going to take 325 and I'm going to subtract 150. So my new balance of cash is 175. What's my balance of accounts receivable, Eden Wedding Planners? Zero. Supplies? 200. Prepaid insurance? 300. You're rocking it over there. Accounts payable shutter supplies? 200. Now, when I get to owner's equity, I have to do 625, and I have to subtract 150. My new balance is now 475. So I just did transaction number two with you as well. So one and two have been done for you. You need to go through and complete transaction three through eight. Got it? Rock it.